Hi everyone, Dave, Kathy, and Nancy Hyde here at Carlsbad Caverns National Park. And right out behind me is the sign. Mm -hmm. yes, it is. We're just coming in. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful park. You can see some of the scenery out behind us here. And the, the small mountains. They're on both sides. And I think we're going to have a very special surprise for you in just, uh, just a few minutes. If they're still there, we did see some mountain rams right up the road. And uh, we're going to take some video there, too. Hi, everyone. I stopped here. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see them. But uh, out in the background here are a bunch of uh, mountain goats, rams. I'm going to be quiet, and you can actually hear them. So we got out and we're going to go try to get a little bit closer. Not too close. They're wild animals and we don't want to get too close to a ram. We might just get rammed in the in our keisters. I don't know how well you could hear that, but you could hear them doing their bawling, the, the noise that they make. And I'll try to amplify the sound if, if it's too quiet. But some are very close to us here. And then they go all the way up the mountain. I would say there's probably pretty close to a hundred of them out here. Carlsbad Cavern National Park. Yep. How'd you like seeing the mountain goats? <laughs> the rams, whatever they're called. I don't know. <laughs> Down below us, you can see the road we just came up on. You can just see the beautiful scenery. Cliffs everywhere. And now I'm going directly into the sun, so I don't know how well you'll see this footage, but that's where we're headed. Gives you a little idea of the animals that used to be here tens of thousands of years ago. This is a dried stream bed that's down in here where they ran the road in today. We've also noticed a number of caves on the side of these cliffs. Uh, we're going to go see the main cave, but we've seen a number of caves entering into the cliffs here. You are about to enter one of the largest cavern systems in the world. No one knows just how big it is because it's never been fully explored. You ready to go down? Mm -hmm. This is the actual entrance to the cave right here. And they have an amphitheater here. 
You must make a reservation online or by phone prior to the day of arrival to enter the cavern. You must. I'm going to repeat that. You must make a reservation online or by phone prior to the day of your arrival to enter the cavern. There is an additional nominal fee to enter the cavern, but they limit access to it. You cannot make a reservation to go down the day of arrival. It must be done prior. We saw so many unhappy people find this out when they arrived. Visit the website to find out more. The link is in our description. They rate this trail as strenuous. It's about a 45 minute hike down to the bottom. You do not have to walk down into the cavern. There's an elevator to take you both up and down if you choose. That's what my mother did. It works well for those in wheelchairs too. What Kathy and I and many people do is walk down and take the elevator back up. It beats walking up 75 stories. You can see there's a number of switchbacks going down. Strenuous hike, 75 stories, but we are only descending. We can walk down, Kathy, yeah. and not have to walk back up. Yes. Gotta love that. It's just an amazing entrance. This is one of the largest caves in the world. When we get to the great room down below, when we get to the great room down below, it will be the, the largest cavern room in the world. Just a stunning entrance. And you can see it's going into the actual cave. There is millions of bats, but bats do hibernate. These bats hibernate down to Brazil, so there is no bats in here as of right now, or at least very few. That's where we came in. kind of spooky down here. <laughs> if you're wondering why we're wearing masks, it is required. 
in all federal buildings and land where there's other people. Even though there isn't other people around us now, we could probably take them off. But technically, we're in the cavern. So we're supposed to leave them on at all times. Entering into the dark. And that's our last view of the sunlight. I was right, we're entering the dark zone. And that's all we see in front of us. Yeah. The path is well lit. It's beautiful. Yeah.